of the Super Bowl? No? Oh. <gasps> yes, it's the 49ers. What? Why wouldn't you go for the Kansas City Chiefs? Because they're the best, duh. Let's just get on with the episode. Fine. Friday is Spirit Day, so don't forget to wear your school gear. So wear your shirts, hoodies, and hats. But if you don't have any of that, just wear blue, orange, yellow, and yellow. Hey, what's in February? I think something, right? Oh, I remember, it's chicken day. No, that doesn't sound right. Let me check it up on my phone. Um, oh, it's Groundhog Day. Now I wanna go to KFC. We'll go later, let's just look at the history of Groundhog Day. Fine. Groundhog Day was first celebrated on February 2nd, 1887 in Puxitawney, Pennsylvania. It was the brainchild of the local newspaper editor, Sylvan Fries, who sold a ground of bin businessmen and, and groundhog hunters known collectively as the Puxitani Groundhog Club on the idea. If the groundhog sees his shadow, winter will last for another six weeks. However, if he does not see his shadow, spring comes early. On Friday, it's, it will also be National Kite Flying Day. Let's play a song about it. Hear ye, hear ye, I declare that on the day someone was born, 365 days later, they turn one year older. Like this is like really creepy. No, I don't want to do that. I have. I am I'm not listening. To you. All right, hi friends, and uh, let's see who's getting a little bit older. Ah, all those bird things. Ah, yeah. <laughs> we have a book called My Papa Has a Motorcycle by Isabel Quintero. This story is about Daisy and her father and the memories of her immigrant neighborhood. Every day after work, her father takes Daisy for a ride on, her, on his motorcycle and they drive through their town. Daisy describes in detail the beauty of her town, the neighborhood, and what changes it brings to it. The next book is for our older graders. This book is The Little Mermaid. Everyone heard of The Little Mermaid. Well, did you know that The Little Mermaid was actually really a rock star? In this interactive fairy tale adventures, you will be chosen three path paths to choose from. That's right, you choose your own story. Will, will you choose the one that will lead you to happily ever after? Now it's time to see a book recommended by you. Hello everyone, my name is Clarissa Garcia and today I'm going to be reviewing, reviewing this book called Braids. And it's a very good book and my teacher, Ms. Hernandez, her teacher in college wrote this book. It's about her little granddaughter, I think, and her grandma. And this is a really good book because Grandma doesn't know to read and she, she likes to braid her hair. And Isabel, the granddaughter, she always looks forward for her abuela to always come and braid her hair in long, silky braids, sometimes drebbins. And you guys can get this book like pretty much anywhere if you guys look it up. So that's the good thing. And this book will show you, like, you guys will feel a connection with it because if you guys have, like, a connection with your grandma or your abuela, 
it just brings like two memories and the grandma doesn't know how to read so she makes up excuses to the little girl like my eyes hurt or like something hurts about her and Isabel loves her but one day Isabel had a big test to study and her abuela didn't get to do her hair so and then her abuela moved and it was sad because Isabel loved her and then uh, her abuela sent her a note it says my dear bella families and stories are like braids they are woven and tied together with love love abuela and then isabel wrote back to her and said dear abuela we are two of a kind just like our braids and ribbons our stories like our braids bind us forever love isabel thanks for watching bye Hey sports fans, it's time for the sports news for the week. On the Sunday game of 7th grade boys basketball, the boys tied with the boys at Rio Real. The 5th and 6th grade boys basketball won versus Santa Clara basketball team. Now, you guys might be wondering about 7th grade girls. Well, fortunately for us, the other team forfeited. That's the win for us. I'm on top of the world. Wait, we're still on? Oh, okay. Well, this is for this week. Hey, I heard someone was selling Valentine grams. Yeah, you could get a, you could get a gram and a mental for a dollar and twenty five cents. Cool. Who's selling them? Student council. Awesome. I'm gonna go buy one right now. A few moments later. Hey, Carla told me that you were selling Valentine's grand. Yeah. What if we just want a stencil? Then it'll be a dollar. Oh, thanks. Bye. Hello, guys. Welcome back to your weekly weather forecast. I'm Kayla, and I'll be talking about the weather. Now, I know last week was a bit funny with the beard and all, but now it's time to get serious. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm never serious. For this week, it will be a mostly sunny week. But remember, sun doesn't always mean heat, so it will still be chilly. The highest it will get to is 65 degrees, and the lowest it will get to is 40 degrees. See, pretty cold for such a sunny week. Well, that's it for this week's forecast. Goodbye. Hey everyone. For this week's tech tip, we're gonna dive into Chromebook shortcuts and some cool stuff you can do with Chromebooks. Now, there are a bunch of different Chromebook shortcuts. And a shortcut is just a set of keystrokes that allows you to perform an action. For example, did you know there's a way to look up all your Chromebook shortcuts? And it's really easy to find. All you have to do is press Control, Alt, and then the question mark button. And this will bring up every major keyboard shortcut. You can search for it, and it even will break it apart in where you might use them. Want to close a tab? Control W. Want to activate the desk to the left? Search and bracket key. Now, the other shortcut we're going to explore today is how to snap windows. Now, this is really useful because if you're working on a project, let's say reading an article on Newzella and taking some notes. It's hard to jump back and forth each time. Now, one way you can do this is you just grab the tab and it will now pull away and you snap it that way. But there's also a shortcut for it. By pressing Alt and then the bracket button, it will set up your snapped windows. So you can put your article on the left, article on the right. It just depends which one you've selected. Use the left bracket to shoot it to the left, right bracket to shoot it to the right. And you can do this with all sorts of tabs in there. Now, something else you can do is, do you ever forget if you have something open before? Like, you hover over the Chrome app and you click and there's a bunch there? Well, there's an even faster way to check. There's a button, it shows you your windows. 
This shows you all your active windows when you press it. And you can select any of your windows that pop up. This way you can see what you have currently open and what you might need to close. Now our last tip isn't a shortcut, but it allows you to create a shortcut. Sometimes you want to have direct access to apps or websites. Right here, we have our shelf. Everyone's shelf is a little different. I personally like to put things on my shelf that I'm going to access the most. Google Docs, Google Drive, email, YouTube. Things I need with just one click. But let's say you're on a website that you want to have access to, but doesn't have its own personal icon. Now, traditionally, all you need to do is open your apps, right click on one using two fingers or the corner, and it will tell you pin to shelf, or if it's already on the shelf, unpin from shelf. So like I can pin my camera to the shelf. Now it's down there. I can move it around. But what about those apps or websites that aren't on there? Well, you can turn those into an app yourself by pinning it to the shelf. So the first thing you do is go to the website you need. Then come over here, click your three dots and go to more tools. And what you'll see is create shortcut. This is going to create a shortcut to this page, just like an app. So I can name it. I can say, do I want to open it as a window or just open as a tab and click create shortcut. Now, because this is a Google site, it comes up as the Google site symbol. But if I just click on it, it will bring me directly to the website I chose. And this is this Soul TV. So play around with some shortcuts, have some fun with it, and see what you can do with Chrome. That's this week's Teacher Tech Tip. Uh, guess what? What? It's the end of the episode! Jeez, you don't have to be so loud. Okay, okay. Well, what do we do now? Um, go to KFC? Oh, I remember. End of the episode. <laughs> Don't say that. Say bye. Okay. Bye.